What is going on guys? It's the Iguana Man. Just want to give you guys a little update about what's going on over here in South Florida. It's been so cold the last couple days that everything has slowed down. The fish, the iguanas, no activity from any types of animals that I'm seeing. It basically looks like we're having a drought, but the opposite because it's cold. Well today, as you guys can see, the sun is out and the temperature has finally risen where I think we might have a good shot of trying to catch some of these iguanas. Easier said than done, we're gonna have to go out there and see what's going on with the activity. Maybe, and just maybe, we might be able to fill our bucket full of iguanas. You guys think I should get one of those? Or do you think I should get one of these? Or do you think I should get a Toyota Tundra? Thousands upon thousands of iguanas are getting smashed by cars every single day especially along these busy interstates. You see, the iguanas are everywhere over here. They're all up in the urban areas. And as you guys can see right here, this iguana did not make it. An instantaneous death though, as you guys can see. Uh, I don't know if somebody hit him on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, these people right here are avoiding hitting it. But you never know. Some people out here are just fed up with iguanas. So, you know, they take it out on them however they can. But there goes this car right there. Yeah, that guy definitely hit it on purpose. We'll remove him off the side of the road. Check that out right there. So no other cars can keep hitting him and maybe he could be recycled, he could be used for food or another animal. All right, so we are all snared up, rigged up, ready to go. Let's see what we can get into. This one might make a good sandwich. Number one in the bag. Oh yes. His dewlap is flared. You see that right there? Got him. Got him, got him, got him, got him. This is incredible. Check this out. Now you guys are seeing this iguana. Look at the backside color of him and look at his environment. It is like the perfect match, y'all. This guy is super feisty. He's probably got some hormones all up in him. Gotta be careful not to get bit right here. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's, oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, calm down. Oh my God. He is not a happy one. Oh my goodness. Like I was saying though, Dewlap is flared. He's trying to assert his dominance right now. Look at the back though. And look at the color of the crown. It is a perfect match. If you were an eagle or a hawk and you were flying up in the sky and you were to look down, you would see nothing but concrete. You would not be able to see this guy come down, swoop, and ambush him. Oh my goodness. Dang, buddy. Why are you so aggressive? I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful he was. Underbelly is kind of like an ember red, a little bit of green. And he's got that charcoal camouflage on the backside of him. Beautiful specimen. All the iguanas we catch, we are gonna go ahead and put them in this bucket right here. We actually caught an orange one earlier today. I have a theory on the one that we just caught last. The reason why he's so aggressive is he's probably turning alpha right now. That would explain why he didn't even run from us. We're doing a little challenge, all right? How many iguanas can we catch in filling to this truck? He's huge. We don't want him to jump in the water. Got him. Yeehaw, baby. Woo! Got us an orange one. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, he's so strong. These orange ones are something else. Ah, baby, baby alpha right here. It's a baby. Okay. 
no 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 but no nah, they literally are man and this place right here bunch of them bunch of them because they got this water and they like this uh this ledge yeah they like the ledge especially when it's cold because uh but sun heats it up right now i don't know how you caught that one. how'd you catch it i man? just yeah see but you see like that right i Oosh. already had good meat yeah that's why i'm catching these right now now nah, they're good meat it's better than any meat you probably eat anyway because all they eat is grass for real right everything else what does it be eating who knows right what they feed i don't eat uh pork or anything like that but if i was to go eat any meat it would probably do that a lot of people think it's strange but i want to get off of the whole like chicken and shit like that yeah because we don't know what they're pumping with if you're catching something like this all i know this is only eating one thing and that's the grass and the lilies yup 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 but i'm about to get one right now all right Yeah, buddy. Come on. Step right up to the show. Whoa. <laughs> Little feisty guys. Little feisty guys. Whoa. Come on the grill. I can pay you a little bit to like eat some too. Follow me on YouTube uh, on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to me on YouTube. Oh, you got YouTube? Yeah. yeah. Good. Hey, tree chicken right here, my friend. Oh, yeah? Better than any chicken you probably ate, bro. They're pumping all your chicken with steroids. This shit don't eat nothing but grass. I didn't eat. Hey, whenever you're ready to try one, just let me know, all right? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> yes, sir. Look at that right there. That's insane, though, bro. Who would have ever thought that these reptiles would be taking over the state of Florida, right? Yeah, they infest this thing. thought that something so bad could come and taste so good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when did you first start noticing the iguanas? I started noticing the iguanas uh, probably my whole life because I lived in Florida my whole life. When have you noticed the boom like this, though? The boom? Probably over the past, I'd say, four years. Probably four years. I see, like, everywhere I go, I see, like, iguanas there. And then backyards, apartment complex. Everywhere, and then I started watching YouTube where they were just air rifling them and trying to get rid of them because they're, it's an infestation. Like, probably even big. I wouldn't say the only infestation that's bigger than the iguana probably the roaches. Dang, probably. that's a that's a bold statement right these, there. It's, it's probably true, hey, dude. These guys lay eggs, those eggs hatch within how many like weeks? Yeah, probably a couple, couple weeks. weeks. They lay a lot of eggs too, and then they lay a lot of eggs, and it's over with spiders. We're probably in competition with spiders. <laughs> That is insane. Just getting a dry one will take you like 30 minutes of hard labor unless you I'll got the right tools. What is it again? Iguana man. I, 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 G. On the other side of the bridge, we got to work really fast. I can feel the temperature already starting to go down a little bit. One thing I noticed about the iguanas out right now, it seems like they're not moving as much. Either because A, they're too cold, or B, they're enjoying the sun and they don't want to be disturbed. Seems like it's working to our advantage. Underneath that bridge right over there, I see a giant orange one. Let's see if we can get lucky and grab him. in the back. Catch ball is attached. Yeah, it's Matty Black off the roof. It's like the man. Oh, I see him. I see him. It's a big, that's a baby Charizard right here. Baby Charizard. He's so cool. We can get this Charizard. Might be able to get him. Oh, no, he's moved. Oh, we got we going after him. Actually, let's go on this side of the bridge. Oh, another Charizard. Oh my God. Don't go away, Charizard. Charizard. Oh my god, he's right out of reach. This is incredible, guys. He's with his females right now. He's looking right at us in our face. There goes the head bobbing. Oh, oh my god, I think we got it around him. It's not secure. 
This snare has seen way better days, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can snap, crackle, and pop real quick. One, two, three. Oh, shoot. Dang. Oh, no. That was it right there. Want a nest. All right, let's go on this side. Let's try to spook these iguanas on the seawall. Doesn't matter the size of iguanas, they'll mate with any sized iguana. Big, small. Holy smack. Oh my god. Oh wow. Talk about the power. Oh my gosh, guys, we got something monstrous on. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Huge female iguana right here. Come up here, sweetheart. Oh, this is the big one. Big female. Hog iguana right here. Yeah, buddy. That is an impressive female right there. Pick off the two nice ones ones that have food value this one's being isolated in the back it's still very small though but we'll still grab it oh wow shook it and dark here soon so time is the virtue it's working against us starting to get really shady temperatures dropping see the sun right there so not seeing too much activity. This would actually be a good pet right here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa there. Whoa. Turn. Look at that. It's not that big but he makes up for it with his feistiness. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. And with light and stuff, they're, they're oh good. Oh my God, from freedom to a cage now. Oh, so sad. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of them out here though. What we learned today? Iguana hunting is the best when the weather is hot. In the cold weather, you wanna to try to go where there's structure where iguanas can find heat on rocks, but yet they'll be really skittish. I hope you enjoy watching.